foremost being a good human. And that means being responsible, being reliable, working hard, being kind, being respectful, uh, being compassionate. The notion that somehow defining yourself as a man is dependent on are you able to put somebody else down instead of lifting them up? Are you able to dominate as opposed to support? That is a old view. And a, a, a view that thankfully I see a lot of young people rejecting. If you are very confident about your sexuality, you don't have to have eight women around you twerking. I mean, why, 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 why are you, why, why are you all like, you seem stressed that you gotta be acting that way. Welcome back y'all to another episode of Road to William. We're gonna get right into it y'all. Uh, so the title, the topic of the video today is man enough. And for me, I brought this up because sometimes I feel like, am I man enough, you know, for society, for other people to understand who I am, to treat me the way I want to be treated. Um, so prime example, um, my facial hair is not really you can see it a little bit especially in person you can see it more especially the under hair you can see it more in person okay i don't have the best camera this is my phone this iphone 11 okay okay i'm gonna have to get a new one because it's acting up but i'm trying to get to a point um but sometimes people may not even you know what i'm saying but i'm getting to a point of my facial hair, you might, I don't have a full beard. I don't have, my mustache not even thick sometimes enough. You don't see all this. You don't see the normal, uh, you don't see the usual things you would see of other men usually, right? Um, but let's be clear. A lot of, some men don't have facial hair at all. Prime example, Master P, Manny Fresh, okay? Prime examples, Obama, don't really be having facial hair like that but we don't question if they're a man we don't question their manhood because of their facial hair master p is one of the most uh respected people in the game of entrepreneur and music and sports like he he has a, a his hands on a lot of things and i watch him a lot and he gives great advice and he has you know great family and, and you know, he's brought himself through the mud, through times where he wasn't supposed to make it in the eyes of society, and he still made it. But I'm saying all this is he doesn't have facial hair. And I'm not saying that to make fun of him or anything, even many. I, they're talented brothers, black men in the community, making other, having other people get paid. Like, they're making money for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I have to remind myself a lot of times when I'm just walking in the world, random, just going to the store, going to the gas station. Like, you know, some people see you, you more than you see yourself. And let me explain. Like, um, y'all know that J. Cole, that J. Cole album, one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite J. Cole album, For Your Eyes Only. Um, and he has says a song where, like, his girlfriend saw, like, he the, his girlfriend saw something in him that he couldn't even see for himself i'm playing the line but like a lot of people like you might think like for me i might be like ah oh, maybe people won't notice me as a male because won't notice me as a man because i don't have all the faith it's hot y'all i know i'm sweating it's hot okay but um people might just see you as like a lot of times this is what i'm saying i'll go into a store and people i might be like insecure or self-conscious about my facial hair or my voice really and off rip people be like hey bro what's up like you know i'm out in cali a lot of people are a lot of people are more friendly and talkative and want to talk to you and stuff especially at the gas station i've noticed you know being a young man 
young man, I'm noticing men love to talk. Men love to talk more than women. Okay. I'm sorry. That's what it is. Why am I at the gas station trying to pump on my, my lonely on my own, you know, and it's, I'm telling you, God, and it's a different, it's a different vibe. It's not like they trying to holler. They like, they like, yo, what up, bro? How you like, I'm like, Hey bro, what's up? And I probably come off as a dick because I'm like, I'm, what do you, what do I just want to put my tech te and go like, but guys love to talk, especially in the, in the, uh, it's a different perspective. I'm seeing men in the, in the world because it's like, I'm used to getting, uh, before T it was all about guys are trying to hit on you or guys are, you don't know their intent. They act weird. They're all, they're just looking at it. Da, da, da. And, but now it's like, they want to talk. Hey, bro, what's good? Like people want to hang. Hey, let's kick. What? 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 Um, my voice is another thing that I, um, really am self-conscious about. Um, I'm working, I'm trying to, I'm not even going to lie. I like when I was, I'm working on like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying not to make my voice go up, up. Okay. Cause especially when I'm like trying to make a joke, I'd be like, Oh my gosh. And I do that. I do that a lot. Okay, and I and I strain my voice when I do that, and it hurts sometimes. But I'm trying to um, not do that because it does hurt my voice. It's not helping my voice at all. Like, and so I'm trying to grow within just how to laugh without going to that high note, how to make jokes without going to that. High. I'm trying not to switch my voice so much because my voice is like just talk, just be, just you don't have to do the extra like. And so I'm like, okay, so I'm working on that. That's really what I'm working on. My voice is really like, it's something I'm very self-conscious about. Um, I'm trying to just let it, you know, it's not the deepest either. Like that's what, another thing where I feel like, oh, but some people like my family, if or if you haven't talked to me in a while, you might be like, yo, your voice got really deep, bro. And, and that's if I'm not straining it to me. And sometimes it's not even about like, oh, I don't want to scare you because that is what I be thinking sometimes. I don't want it to be too deep for somebody where they're like, oh, hi. Like, I'm not trying to scare people either, but it's just like, okay, you a black man. You going to scare people regardless because that's just what society puts out there. But I feel like a preacher. And uh, <laughs> shout out to TD Jakes. I, I watch TD Jakes. That's going to be another episode. Um, I did an a episode where I talked about, you know, why I don't pray to God about you know, being gay and being trans and all that. That's watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm going to do a different video in the future about like um, my relationship with God. And I think that's really important. And I still listen, you know, I'll read the word every once in a while. But I really watch, you know, Sarah Jacob Roberts, who is T.D. Jake's um, one of his daughters. I watch T.D. Jake's faithfully. Um, just the way he preaches he's never trying to talk down on people he's talking to you straight up and that helps me like watching him helps me become a better man a better person a better human being within myself and i think it's important to have some type of mentor or somebody you kind of look to for guidance you know like a a human being like if you look to me hey i want to be that person for you if you feel like okay let me hear somebody's perspective on something because maybe i'm overthinking and maybe i need somebody to relate to and i'm here to for people to relate to you know what i'm saying and because that's what i needed when i was on my before t i was looking at other people's uh ash and tail adventure i was little on their channel uh i was on a lot of people's channels um, Rosiah, that was one of the first per people I actually found. And I was just like, just learning more about people's perspectives because it helps you understand your own sometimes. So I definitely l listen to TD Jakes, um, just how you carry yourself just as a human being, but it helps with just being a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't, like I was saying in my last video, I was saying like, you just can't call yourself a man and not do the shit that you supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? You can't just call your just to say it like you know what i'm saying you have to like it's it's hard being a, a woman it's hard being a man it's hard being just a person in general but you know whatever you decide to be you know make sure you're strong in it make sure you're efficient you're not half asking in any form and sometimes i feel less of a man because of maybe it's my voice maybe it's you know, I don't have the biggest muscles. I don't have all the facial hair. I don't have, you know, 
you know, all the things you're supposed to have. And I'm like, well, now I have to think about what is a man? What What is a man to me? You know, and, and, and what is what am I supposed to be as a human being? And I always say both. I always say like being a man and being a human being because even if you don't identify as either, you have to be a good human being in general. Whoever, however you identify is why I say, is why I always say human being regardless because it's like at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, you like, who are you a good human? You know, like, are you and you have to deal with it in, within yourself don't i'm not talking about how you in just in public but within yourself are you good to yourself within um a lot of times i feel self-conscious y'all see this nirvana shirt and it's bright it's colorful and and a lot of times i have you know really my anxiety has gotten a little better but you know going into a store if i got a shirt like this is this is usually like a shirt I would avoid wearing out in public. I'll just wear it in the house, you know, while I'm out back because I don't want the attention of somebody seeing my shirt. Then they see me. Then it's like, oh, are they confused? Because I feel like also what I was saying with my voice, I feel like because I don't feel it's deep enough. I feel like if I talk, especially too much, um, I'm going to like what blow my cover or something. But I have to remind myself, like, you're not trying to cover anything. You're not trying to be something you're not you're you're trying to be who you are and be who you are i'm sorry i had to do that and that was on me i walked into that i'm sorry because i was <laughs> but i'm getting better at looking people in the eye you know speaking up you know and people want to talk like we were in a panorama for a minute and we have to remind, remind ourselves that because uh, we're still coming we're coming out of that I'm still, people want to talk now. People want to talk. People didn't want to talk back in the day. They want to talk now. And you should be able to talk. You should want to commu communicate. Like, um, people sometimes, sometimes I think, oh, do they just want to talk because we have to store, this is their job. They have to, be. but sometimes they be like just talking just to, they be a whole line. I'm like, you ain't got to talk to me. Like, why you want to talk to me? But, you know, people feel good energy. They feel that. And, and if this shirt, this colorful shirt gonna make someone feel like I could talk to that motherfucker because that motherfucker is wearing like a colorful shirt. Like, I'm not, and I had to remind myself, I'm not, why did I buy this? I bought it because I love music. Uh, I love the colors and I'm not buying it to impress someone else or show off. I'm buying it because I like it. And and when I wear it, you know, I'm not buying it so somebody can be like, oh, I like your shirt. I mean, no. You know, I want people to, if they do see it, you know, feel good or reminds them of a good time. You know, I, I would wear this shirt called Good Vibes. It would have good vibes on it. And and if somebody see it, you know, I hope they do like, maybe their vibe is off and they saw that. Like shirts, like graphic tees, prints on the shirt, the words on the shirt, hat, whatever. It matters because like... I could see that on somebody's shirt. And for me, that makes me feel a little better. If somebody got a good vibe shirt, I'm gonna be like, lit. You know what I mean? I just feel a little bit better because life can come down on you so hard and you could just be stressed about a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not this enough. I'm not that. I don't got fish. And it's just like, cut it out and remember it to be present. And and that's what I want y'all to remember. Like, you're man enough. You know, for the, for the FTMs, you're man enough, okay? Like, you are enough you just even if you don't have because a lot of people we you know a lot of people ftms female to male like they don't have a whole bunch of beard you, i'm living test to it i don't have the the all the facial hair in the world some people have less than this and so i'm just grateful that i have what i have you know i'm grateful for my mindset and me growing and um being on testosterone i mean people feel their ways this and that about it but honestly i feel better since going on this journey and you don't just you don't have to be on testosterone to be a man either you know maybe sometimes it's a, a medical condition they can't have it for their body can't handle it but that doesn't make you less of a man sometimes it's money wise people can't afford testosterone but that doesn't mean you're less of a man because you can't afford it and you don't have it you can't take your shot you can't put in jail you can't do anything but that doesn't make you less okay the lack of facial hair doesn't make you less of a man. The voice, your voice, my voice might be deep to a lot of people might be like, 
bro, I wish my voice was that deep. You know what I mean? Or, you know, some people have way deeper voices than mine. But it, the life is not here to compare others. People didn't get put on this earth to be compared to each other. We're here to what? Help each other. And that's what I always preach. That's what I always say. So this was just a, a nice vid for y'all. And I just want to say um, there's more videos on the way. Uh, I love doing, I love making videos. Thank you for the 200 subscribers. Let's go up. Now we're going to 300, you know, baby steps, baby steps. But hey, if we hit a thought, we hit a thought. Okay. Um, but I just love every single person, even if it's a bot, even if somebody don't even realize.